Hi, this is Tony Nasco with DoveNet Software. Today we're going to demonstrate the GSA module, which is part of our estimating module. So we bring up the project editor, and you notice we have our customer, Barnes & Noble. Now on the setup side of things, you'll notice that this customer has been denoted as GSA. There's also ways to set up other types of contract as well, but I'm specifically talking about GSA today. And so I've created a project for that customer, GSA. Now, on the item side, you could also specify on a part number level, you can specify the GSA price and the contract associated with this GSA price. And you can actually have multiple contracts. Uh, within the system. So now what we can do is we simply bring in those items. So if I come over here and I say part 3M 3M like so there's our cost and the GSA price versus the standard price and you'll notice it says GSA over here. Now in this example of the setup, this price is not editable. So the user can't make a change. I also have some customers where they do uh, edit this and sometimes give a better price than the GSA price. And then if we bring in another item, 3MMF2, and choose a different item like this guy, you'll notice that it does not say GSA next to it and this cost figure is editable. Okay. Now, when we print proposal here, come down to print proposal, and we use a modified version of our quote form called GSA proposal, and we can make the same modification to your quote form as well, you'll notice that on this form it lists out the GSA contract if it's the GSA price or it says open market here if it's a non GSA price. So the point is you can intermix GSA items and non GSA items in the same quote. Okay. And after that this item performs normally like it would uh, when you do purchasing and other things like that. Um, it is also possible to use a special price here when you're using the GSA cost sell price. Uh, so there's that option is available too as well. The other part to the GSA uh, functionality is when we want to create a price list of GSA items, we can come down here to price list, include list price, and hit the drop down and select our GSA price list and then um, I'm just going to do it for 3M uh, but you could do it for the entire price list if it's mixed manufacturers and then you get the list price and the GSA price and the contract number associated uh, with that particular GSA price the other functionality that's available is the quarterly reporting and then we do sales log report GSA. Uh, you can specify the date range in question, come down here to Crystal Reports and we call the GSA report up and then do start and the system will list out all the GSA items uh, and the total uh, for that period. So there you go, the uh, GSA module. And uh, feel free to contact DoveNet Software for pricing and other information on this module. Thank you very much for your time.